Hey everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z. Welcome to another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. This time around, we shall be going over a game on Echo Isle. It's going to be Orc vs. Orc, and this is a replay quest by What a Foolish Boy, who is spawning as the Red Orc there at the top left on this map. He will be playing up against Stay Boy. It's going to be Orc vs. Orc, and by the way, this is game number two from this best out of three series game number one should already be up i'll probably uh put a link to that in the description below if you don't want spoilers you can go and check that out first all right so in game number one we saw blade versus blade and that was a pretty it was kind of short but it was pretty good matchup went pretty well and both players were doing a very good job and uh, something that I would put in uh, like I would like to put in as an input into that would be you want to level up the heroes uh, evenly you want to get the blade masters level up as well apart from that you want to have some good items to heal up your stuff and all I needed to have a water. All right, we got a farce here coming in for Stay Boy. It appears that he wants to take no chances, like the last game, and uh, he's probably going to go for some harassment, which is something that the farce here is very, very uh, known for. Blade Master is, of course, also known for harassment, but he's also known for quick creeping, uh, killing specific camps, specific uh, creeps from single camps, taking the items. And then dealing harassment, but Farseer, it's usually just fully harassment, and that's exactly what Stibo is going for. Stibo is hero heading in towards the enemy's uh, base, while uh, what a foolish boy goes for some creeping over here. Going to take out that ogre warrior, probably take the item and run away, but he may choose to. No, he's not going to creep the whole thing. He got himself a rings of protection plus three. It's no longer two, it's three, so it's you more useful. And uh, that grunt over there, since the grunt was still over there around that spot, he noticed that the Farseer is coming. And Farseer going after that Voodoo Lounge immediately. If he manages to take out that Voodoo Lounge, he's gonna be halting the Orc player, or rather the Red Orc player, what a foolish boy is. Uh, I mean, uh, he's gonna be halting. A lot of benefits that uh, you're gonna be gaining from that shop you're gonna be able to sell off your TP you're gonna be able to sell off the rings probably as well healing salves and all that stuff you're gonna not gonna be able to heal your army you're not gonna be able to use speed scrolls but well he's probably just gonna be able to do all of that since the shop is up and now the shop was was also repaired by those peons is up by 50% and probably gonna survive for a longer time and uh, what do we have here? The Fars here and the Feral Spirits attacking the Blade. Blade Master does have a lot of mana. It can go Windwalk any time. But the thing is, where do you go then? Uh oh, he, uh, what a foolish boy taking a risk over here. He's taking a big risk. He's gonna try and kill that Grunt. Okay, now it's not that big of a risk as the Grunt is all alone, isolated, and the Grunt will probably be taken out over there. One run down for Stiboy and Stiboy well does not really have any other runs. He's uh, making the second burrow and also getting his uh, tier two coming in. He's 50% uh, ahead as compared to uh, Water Foolish Boy because of the build, of course. And uh, while well, Water Foolish Boy has three runs ready, Stiboy will have his tier two ready first. And uh, so far, Water Foolish Boy has been able to defend against this push very well without uh, losing a lot he didn't lose anything though he didn't lose any peons no burrows no shop and of course no hero that is the most detrimental he was nearing uh well he was pretty near to lose one hero but that didn't happen that's good for him on the other hand still boy lost a grunt and well that is that was basically you could say 25 percent of his army it's pretty bad and whoa he bought himself a farce here and it's probably coming in with a soul burn soul burn on the blade master 
No, it's not gonna be Soul Warrior, it's gonna be the Elemental. So he's going for a sort of a summoner push. It's gonna be Feral Spirits and the summoner, the Lava Spawns, along with the Farseer and Fire Lord. It's gonna be pretty good and uh, the same situation over here with the blade where the blade master is down but uh, he wants to take out the unit but it's kind of risky and uh, yeah this is the risk that I was talking about it was a big big risk and uh, one one like uh, wrong move can actually cost your hero in such a scenario now Stiboy heading in towards the enemy base and uh, as we can see the experience bar is at zero which means that Stiboy so far has not been able to take out a single unit while well, on the other hand uh, what a foolish boy uh, Blade Master is nearing level 2 we got a Wormel coming in at the backside and I hear some oh my goodness I missed that the Blade Master's Windwalk probably ran out over there as it neared uh, the Orcish army or rather the blue orc army and uh, all right this is this may just cost okay that's what that's what was going on the creeping was going on over there but this whole scenario may just cost uh, what a foolish boy this game right now and this is going to be pretty pretty bad for him shadow hunter is out all right the cavalry has arrived backup is here and uh, finally Finally, uh, Steve Boy managed to kill a unit. Of course, he killed the hero first, but now he managed to kill a grunt as well. And uh, what is this? A peon heading in outside. He, uh, maybe he's going towards the tavern, but uh, well, his direction seems to be rather different. Uh, Steve Boy going right after that uh, voodoo lounge, which he was trying to destroy since a very, very long time in this game right now. Uh oh, here comes the Blade Master back again, revived from the altar and not from the tower or anything. The peon pulled back. And what do we have here? Stay Boy going after the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter is pretty, pretty low. Wanna get, wanna get it back towards uh, the inner side of the base. Wanna save it. Uh, this grunt is pretty low. It's gonna be taken out. And uh oh, lava spawns are multiplying. It's pretty low though. You can actually kill it, but no, you won't on time. Oh! Wind Riders, Wind Riders on the field, but uh, both of the heroes can target the Wind Riders and they deal decent amount of damage. And uh, the Lava Smokes can also damage the Wind Riders. You also have Raiders. As soon as you get Ensnare, well, you can just pull them down. So I don't think Wind Riders is the answer to this particular army combination. And don't mind that Shadow Hunter down. And slowly but surely this game is going away from what a foolish wise hands he still has the blade master and at times we have seen the blade master like pull out miracles uh, wind riders on the field but uh, you want to keep your wind riders safe like deal damage but keep keep them near the burrows keep them near the burrows safe and sound keep them at uh, spots where the ground army can't reach them yeah spots like that <laughs> But keep, <coughs> but keep on attacking. <coughs> Excuse me. This blade is pretty low, man. He's gonna get taken out. And I think this game will go to Stiboy. As he has a lot of stuff on the field. He's systematically taking out uh, Water Foolish Boy's army and uh oh, Lightning Jane. And that wind rider got ensnared not gonna let the wound launch come up <sighs> maybe you want to attack the altar as well if you have pillage you can actually gain resources like a lot of resources going after the burrows I think burrow is pretty the better choice because you're gonna you're gonna supply block your enemy and those are far easier to take out and now go after the peons uh oh all the peons are ensnared and they're really easy to take out as well. He's going after the beast cherry. No military units. No defense. Chain lightning. Steboy did lose a couple of stuff over there and since he does not have the Shadow Hunter on his side, he does not have any healing going on. 
He's at a 40 food army and uh, what a foolish way is at a 29. Lava swans multiplying and GG by what a foolish boy. Damn. That was also short but also pretty good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I am taking requests. So if you got a replay of yourself, your friend, any pro guy that you want casted, just give it to me and I'll do it. So that's it I guess. Subscribe for more and hit that like button. Z out. Bye bye.